Hey everyone, I'm Scott Stokely and we are blocking the wind as best as possible. So we're like, we have the least pretty set in the history. <laughs> no offense to the person with the RV, but uh, the best we could do so you could hear us. So I am here with... Come on, man. You can do it. <laughs> Blair. 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 I've been practicing enough, all around. Blair and the last name? Ur Auskerson. Ulrich <laughs> Auskerson. Yeah, almost. That's pretty good. All right. So, <laughs> uh, but he's okay with you calling him Blair. Yeah, Blair is perfect, man. <laughs> all right. So, uh, Blair, 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 I'm so sorry. <laughs> no, it's okay. It's I, okay. I, I will, by the time I get to Iceland, I'm, I will practice it. I learn. Right. I promise that you have my word. Yeah, um, sure. So, Blair, Blair is the best disc golfer in Iceland um, by a bunch. I mean, you're, you're a step ahead. Uh, I want to know about disc golf in Iceland because it wasn't that long ago that that wasn't a thing, right? No, exactly. I think it's been around since 2002, but we haven't really have had a lot of people playing. But now we have like 70 courses, and I think that's in, we are in first or second place like for the most courses per capita. Yeah. Yeah. I think Finland is number one. So, I think Iceland is number one. Or maybe, maybe it is Iceland. I think it is. So we are, we are getting pretty big. And, yeah. But the courses are not good. There are not many trees. And if we have trees, they're not big. Yeah, so you, it's wide open holes with OPs and mantles everywhere. You told me that there were 70 courses and six holes with trees. Yeah, probably. At least in our competition courses, there are like five tree holes, six tree holes. That's crazy. That that's crazy. So yeah. when did disc golf start picking up in Iceland? I mean, I mean, yeah. Just because there's a course in the ground doesn't mean that's when the the sport started there. I mean, no, it, exactly. In in a way. Yeah, we had we have had the course since 2002, like I said. But that when we got a course like in the middle of Reykjavik, which is the biggest city, mm. then it started going. But after COVID, it really started like going. All a lot of new players, all the events filling up very quickly. So now it's getting pretty good, and soon we will have many thousand rated players, I think. Yeah, for sure. I mean, you are a thousand... Now I'm thousand seven. I dropped a bunch late last year, but I'm going to climb up this year. Yeah, I think so. So we shot together first round. Yeah. Um, I'm going to make my prediction. Your round was... I'm going to predict 1070. Could be right, yes. And uh, chase card at worst. Uh, but I think you're possibly even sneaking into lead card with that. I mean, that was a really good round of golf. Yeah, it, it was really good. No, no mistakes, but I missed some of the easy ones, but I'm really happy. Really See, happy. that's a sign of a good disc golfer when, <laughs> when they shoot their, <laughs> you ask Paul or Ricky or Eagle about their 1070 rounds and they'll be like, yeah, well, here's the ones I missed. <laughs> it's, it, but that, but that's really like, I think, um, it's kind of how you get good because you're like you're not taking for granted what you got. You're looking at what you could do better. Yeah, yeah exactly, exactly. So, how did you get good in in Iceland? I mean, you didn't have mentors. No, no. Uh, like on the island, like where did you figure out how to play? Because I mean, your form's good. You I mean you, like how? So I just I was kind of lucky to get into disc golf. I was traveling with my friend in West Iceland, and they were opening a course there. And I tried it, then one year later I got starter set for birthday. And then start and my first tournament was actually seven days after that Icelandic really? Championships. Really? So yeah, I started going like right right after I got my first discs. discs but, but how did you going. but how did you get good? I mean, how did you develop good form? I don't know. I, I'm not sure if my form is really good, but I'm just doing what is most comfortable for me and I've been playing a lot. So like in the summer I'm playing all day. I work, then I go play, and I'm playing until night because there's bright. It, it doesn't get dark in the summer. Right. So I'm playing. <laughs> so, you can all play, so you can play around the clock yeah, for yeah. some of the time. The weather up there, I mean, I, I from what I've heard, it's warmer than the stereotype, but that's still not warm. Yeah, yeah, like it almost never gets this hot like it's now. And that's cold for you. So that's, that must say something. Yeah. But like the winters are pretty bad. We have like snow up to the knees. Is there, are you playing indoors? We um, we play indoors like once per week for an hour. Okay. Not nothing more. But we are playing outside in the snow. That's no problem. <laughs> <laughs> gotcha. I, so I I wanted to ask you this, like, it's not considered Scandinavia, but culturally no. it's Scandinavian. Exactly. 
That's right. I was googling it yesterday, actually. Yeah. So, so do the, I would say we are part of Scandinavia. I mean, <laughs> I, in, in a way, because what in I was way. wondering is, do the other, like, do the Norwegians and Finns and Swedes and Danish, can't forget yeah, but do they, if, if we are not part of Scandinavia, Finns are not part of Scandinavia. It's only Sweden, Norway and Denmark. Okay. But, well, I was wondering if they can pronounce your name, or is the dialect enough different? No. It's different. No, no one does it perfect except Icelanders, but most of them just say Blair, and that's okay. That's okay. Yeah, <laughs> that's good enough. Good enough for I me. don't know. I think you, I think it's... I think it's more polite to learn the correct pronunciation. I mean, yeah, but it's so hard. Like most of the Americans can't even roll their tongue. Like, rrr. they can't do it, man. So. <laughs> well, okay. Well, you're being you're being very kind. <laughs> so you said that you would like to stay here and tour. Like, oh yeah, for sure. If you had, if it was your choice, you would play for. Yeah, I would. I would be here the whole year. Maybe go to Europe in the summer. But I mean, I would like to tour. Yes. All right, and you are. Well, shout out to your sponsor. I shout out to Enova. Frisbygol Fela Reykjavíkur, Málma, Frisbygol Búðin, Hleðsla, Tríl of Disc Golf. I okay. think that's, I think that's all. Yeah, I mean, the thing is, like, you're one of the players, I always talk about this, there's players, you're 19 years old. Yeah, exactly. Like, your stock is cheap right now. Oh, yeah. Right? Because, like, yeah, yeah. you know, someone could get you on board and, you know, like, hook you up with a van, get oh, you touring. Yeah. <laughs> like, they could do that now. And then, when you're more, like, you know, when you're only going to get better and better. Oh, yeah. Then, you already have a relationship with you and everybody wants you. You're probably more likely to be loyal to the company that got on board now. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Of course. I mean, of course. so I, I think there's something to be said. So, you guys are all paying attention. <laughs> um, you have you have oh, wow. my endorsement. Like, dang, dude. Like that was like a 1070 round in the wind. Yeah, it was pretty good. Was... <laughs> <laughs> I'm used to the wind, man. I live in Iceland. So. That was not pretty good. That was <laughs> that was stellar. I, uh, your your lead card or chase card tomorrow would be my. Yes. I, I believe so. But my my PTJ number is so high, man. So I will be the lowest. <laughs> so I could drop drop down, but we will see. Hopefully, we'll, we'll, hopefully we'll see, up there. We'll see. Yeah. So you're here for how long? I'm actually here for two and a half months. I'm staying until uh, Didio. Okay, and then do you have to go back because of visas and then you come back or? Yeah. No, my, my plan actually now is to travel Europe in the summertime and then I'm not sure if I can come back after that, just money-wise. Again, it costs a lot of okay, money you, to, to rent our real You hear that? <laughs> well, <laughs> just have start playing. Just like play like you did today. Yeah, exactly. I wish the, the first couple of, of tournaments were pretty rough, but hopefully I'm getting there. Hey, just, just I, mean, I, I told everybody like, Definitely enjoy it. Yeah, I will. Like I will. enjoy the moment because you you you've earned this place that you're gonna have tomorrow, and yeah. it's it's really neat. Yeah. As I'm happy for you, it's not the last time you know oh, that yeah. you'll be there. So, <laughs> cool. Any words to everyone back in Iceland? Just thanks for the support and thanks for all the messages. It means a lot. All right, all right, oh, yeah. guys. Thanks, everyone. Thank you.